Hey everyone, Presito here. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Maestro Scraper Bot. And this is actually a super valuable tool and I learned how to use it quite in depth. And it's been really helpful when you want to buy something quick from a call channel or a call bot. And it really buys it immediately and you can set up all the different settings, auto buy, auto sell, everything like that. So I'll be showing you guys all the settings, how to set it up, how to download it from a safe source and everything like that. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to scrape from a channel that has different topics because Maestro doesn't actually support that at the moment. You can't scrape from topics and uh, maybe they will introduce that in the future, but for now you can't. So I'll be showing you how you can actually set that up with a different bot. And I've done this and it all works perfectly. So let's get started on how to download the scraper bot. So this is a program you need to download on your computer. So what you need to do is go to this link and I'll leave that in the description. So you guys use a safe link. You need to download it. And if you go to the download section, there's Windows, Linux, uh, Mac OS. So you can choose which one is for you. Then you set it up and then you need to launch it and you'll be asked to supply an API ID and API hash. And you can get those uh, through steps uh, three through nine. First, you need to disable your ad blocker. Go to my.telegram.org, enter your phone number, make sure to select the phone number of the Telegram account that you are using with Maestro, otherwise it's not going to work. Then it will request an access code and that will be sent to your official Telegram account. Obviously, don't share that with anyone and then use that code to log in. Once you are logged in, select API development tool, fill out the form and uh, with, with this information over here, select create application you will now have access to your API ID and API hash. And obviously don't share that again with anyone. Go back to the scraper and enter that API ID and API hash. Enter the phone number and the scraper will access a code and a password. If you don't have two-factor authentication enabled in your Telegram account, then you can leave that empty. And the code will be sent by the official Telegram account to your Telegram and use that to finalize the setup. So once you've done all that, you will see this on your bot that you downloaded. So I've got Telegram Premium, so I just ticked here forward to Premium Bot. And here you can see all your channels and you can tick exactly which ones you want it to forward. So if there's some Telegram notification sign, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, Telegram, so I have to keep it open, unfortunately, for the video. But as you can see here, I can pick any channel I want that I'm in and just click on who I want it to scrape from. So if I click on here, for example, my channel, if I click a pinned message, and only pinned message will be forwarded to the master bot and it will buy that automatically. Then I can choose for bots, users. I just normally tick all of them just to be safe, unless you know who you want it to be scraped from. So you can pick any channel you want. Then you can click untrack all, ignore duplicates, has to be on just in case it scrapes the same call and you buy the same thing twice. Obviously, you don't want to do that. So that's how you set up this bot. So as I said, the issue is you can't scrape from topics. So if you are in a bot channel, a call bot channel, they've got various topics, for example, uh, alpha calls A, B, C, and you won't be able to scrape here. It won't show them because it doesn't support topics. But there is a way that you can do that. So I'm going to open my telegram in this bot that I found and I'll show you exactly how it works. So to do this, you need to use this auto forward bot. And this bot I tested out and it works really good. The only thing is you do need to log in with your phone number. And if you're not too comfy with it, I'd recommend using an alt account since it doesn't really matter which account you do it on. And they do have a free plan for, I think, a week or a few days. And then it's like $14 a month or something. It's the only bot I've found which actually does this and it does it well. So uh, it could be worthwhile if it works into your trading plan or how you want to play it with buying coins and stuff. So I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up because uh, it was a bit tricky at first. Seems like auto forwarding on Telegram isn't that simple. So basically what you need to do is log in to the bot. So once you are logged in, you need to click on the menu and you need to find the uh, channel list. So you get list channel or group, whichever one you are in that has the topics in it. So once you have created that, then you also need to create a group uh, just an empty group or channel that you are in that the bot will forward that message to. And once it forwards it to that group, then you can go back to Maestro and scrape it from that group. So that's how you will get past this topic issue. 
So on this bot, once you have found the, the ID of both the channel you want to scrape from and the channel that you created that you are in, then you create that task. So once you've created that task, then you need to go to edit task. And over there, you will see the option called source topic. You click on that and then it will show you the different topics in that group. And you can tick all the individual ones that you want to forward to that group. And it will scrape from there and send that all to the group that you're in. So that's simple. And then Maestro will scrape from that group you're in and send it to the Maestro bot, which you can then scrape and buy automatically. So that's just the way to set it up. Hopefully that was straightforward. So next up, let's go through the Maestro settings. So now we are in Maestro bot and we can have a look at the scraper settings. So if you go on menu, open the sniper menu, then you go to call channels, choose Ethereum, and then scraper. So this is what you want active and this is what's going to do the auto buys from the groups you are scraping while using the spot when you have it ticked. So the, the ones that are ticked here will automatically forward to my so it'll pick up the contract address and it will buy based on your settings you have here. And remember some of these settings you need to have enabled as well in your main Ethereum wallet and that is the auto buy and auto sell. Those need to be enabled in your main Ethereum config wallet in Maestro, otherwise it won't actually auto buy and sell. So let me show you the ideal settings that you want when you're scraping from either call bots or call channels. So firstly, you'll want to have auto buy enabled. Obviously that's, it won't buy it otherwise. Then under amount, you can choose exactly how much you want to buy with. I've got it here on 0 0.3 Ethereum and I set the slippage to 100%. That's just because when it's called in these channels, a lot of the time it's very volatile. And if it's low market cap, for example, you might miss the entry. If you have your slippage at the default 10%, then it will just give a transaction failed and you miss the opportunity. So I keep it at 100%. And on the main wallet config, I do keep on anti-MEV. So you can't get um, tricked by that. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's if you buy uh, MEV bot will basically front run you and then you'll end up buying more expensive and losing money. So you don't want to do that. So I keep that anti-MEV on, although I've heard that it does slow you down your transaction a little bit. <clears throat> so that's not ideal, but still worthwhile to have it rather than getting wrecked on that slippage. Smart slippage should be disabled. Gas price, I made that plus 14, which is quite a bit extra, but you want to get in fast on those calls and make sure that you are in before other people buy that call, of course. Max market cap, I've got that disabled, but you can put on there if the market cap, for example, is too high, then it won't buy. So if you only want to do degen low market cap plays, then you uh, can set there what you want the max market cap to be, as well as min liquidity, max liquidity. But I've got that all disabled since so I'm a degen. Max buy tax, this as well, I got wrecked. Actually, I was trying to copy trade a on bypass at 40k market cap and actually went to 3 million but it didn't buy because my max buy tax was on 10 percent so then after that lesson i decided okay i'm going to put it 40 percent because if it's aping dgen calls then most of the time when they just launch tax is quite high and then they reduce it so that i put it at 40 percent max sell tax i disabled that fully since uh some have a high sell tax as well in the beginning but i just disabled that since it doesn't really even matter too much also, I've got anti-rug on on MyAstrobot. So with anti-rug on MyAstrobot, it picks up, for example, if the sell tax was increased. So if the dev made a transaction to increase the sell tax to something like 90% or even a bit lower than that, it will automatically sell the token. But keep in mind, sometimes devs do it on purpose to shake out people using bots. So that's not always ideal to use. But it still is worthwhile to use it in my opinion. For me, it happened once I got shaken out by someone doing that and then it pumped, but it happened also a few times that it did sell and protect me from getting rugged. So that's some things to keep in mind. Then your sell settings, obviously, if you want auto sell on, you can enable that. I did, and I set the auto sell high at 250. So that means if the price pumps, uh, I think 3.5X or something like that, then it will automatically sell the token. And it will sell 50% at that threshold. And you can adjust those settings as much as you want. If you click here, uh, you can see here, sell high. You can choose the amount to sell 
well, how much to sell high. So reply to this message with your desired sell percentage. This is a high threshold at which you'll sell for profit. So if you put it at 100, it'll sell at 2x. And then sell high amount is how many tokens you want to sell. So maybe 50% of your tokens you want to sell at 2x. So that's easy way to do it and how to set everything up. So this is really useful if you want to scrape from call channels of influencers. Maybe you found one that's really good and they do very good calls and you want to buy it quick because you know when they call it, it starts pumping. So you can set this up so that it will buy immediately and it will uh, get in early. So that's the benefit of this. Also for call bots, I've been using it so that it will scrape call bots calls and buy it immediately. And I'm going to be making a video later on covering my experience with that. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully this video was valuable for you guys and you learned how to set everything up with the best settings. These have really worked very well for me. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more alpha. Join my Telegram and Twitter and I'll see you guys next time.